Okay, so I'm going to talk about, uh, I'm sorry, I kind of moved the camera there. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, drawing boxes, okay? And so, uh, you know, you can see this is just a cardboard box. That I don't even remember what came in this thing, but uh, it's a cardboard box. And so, um, what I like to always explain and get you guys to think about is that really a box is just, it's made up of sides, but it's also made up of edges and corners. And so if you're thinking of it as a line drawing, um, you know, like there's a line, there's a line, there's a line right there, there's another one, okay? So like when I put it straight on, you'll notice again, these two are parallel from each other, and then these two are parallel from each other. And of course, once you see it, you know, in perspective, you see it at an angle like this, um, you know, again, these aren't exactly parallel anymore. You're dealing with perspective. So they actually start to kind of shrink towards each other a little bit, okay? But, you know, just for it, like, uh, you know, a general um, way to think of it, these, you know, these are sort of parallel and these are sort of parallel, okay? So when you're drawing a box, um, you got to think of it as that more or less there's just lines that are kind of near, uh, you know, pretty close to being parallel, uh, you know, for the most part, okay? So, when you go to draw a box, um, you got to kind of think of it that way. And if you're drawing something that's sitting flat on the table, what's gonna end up happening, I'm just gonna kind of make up a box here, but you're going to draw something that's flat on the table, you're gonna have a set of lines that go straight up and down. Okay, so, you know, sort of just like on this one, if I kind of held this one sort of at this angle, you know, again, there's a line there, there's a line there, and there's a line there, okay? So I'm not gonna look exactly like the the one I just showed you, because I'm just kind of making this one up. Um, but what I'm doing is just, you know, making one up, uh, but it's gonna look pretty realistic, okay? And so see, again, these two basically are parallel. These are, you know, again, really close to being parallel. And then you're gonna have these, okay? So see, I'm gonna have to bring that one up a little bit. That's okay. And then really, if you kind of stick with the same idea, then when I go to put that angle in, yeah, I've got that. And then again, see how this, these two are going on this angle? Well, this one's gonna be pretty close to that also, okay? So it's sort of like three sets of parallel lines each time. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then of course, one, two, and three, and then the one's going the other direction, okay? Uh, and then, you know, there you go, you have a box. So I'll clean this up just a bit. And like I said, the, like this one and this one, to, you know, and even this one, they technically kind of point towards each other a little more than maybe I'm drawing it, but, um, you know, cause that's just, that has to do with perspective. Okay, but that's kind of the general idea. And so, something you want to think about is that if you don't have um, the angles going the correct way, it always looks kind of strange. Like, you know, and I see students do this all the time. They'll get to a point where, you know, just kind of start with the same box here. So we'll be like right there. And then, you know, they kind of get to this point pretty well. They're here. Okay, so they've kind of got like the front and side. And then when they go to do this side, again, rather than keeping the same angle, they'll do something weird like this. Okay, and again, rather than keeping this angle like that, they end up doing something like this. And you can tell that doesn't really look the way it should. Okay. And again, what ends up happening is that they're just not keeping that same idea in mind. So see if I change that and then I erase this part. It looks a little better now, right? And then if I, again, you know, keep my same idea where these angles are really close to being parallel. Okay, so then there you go. Looks a lot better now. Okay. Uh, the other thing that will happen is when you're drawing something 
Like say, say I grab this box, okay? Uh, especially if I hold it like this. Okay, so this side's like pretty big and then obviously this side is not very, you know, not very tall. Like, if I stood it up like this, again, very tall, and then this is a lot shorter. Okay, so if it's sitting on the table, say it's sitting on the table, kind of at like this angle. Okay, what will happen, especially if it's like this, where it's almost aimed a little more straight at you, okay? You know, it's not you're looking down at it, and you're kind of looking at it a little closer to where your eye is a little more level with the top, okay? So you see a little bit up here, but not a lot. So what will end up happening is in your head, you know, okay, this is the small side, and then this is the big side. And so then when you end up drawing it, what you'll end up doing is, You'll do something like this. And then rather than keeping this short, you'll end up doing this thing where it's like, it's like massive top on it. And again, what ends up happening is because in your head, you know that top side is the largest one, but you gotta remember that you know it may not be the exact angle you're looking at it, and so uh, from so one of the things you have to think about is that you know like yeah, say you're looking down at it from kind of from the top like this view, okay. So this is gonna look a lot bigger and it's gonna look kind of short, but if it's again tilted in a way and you're you know you're sitting a little bit lower and your eyes a little more even with the top, so you're not gonna see as much of it now, right? So if you look at it and you think about it, see like how far apart that back edge is and then the front edge. Okay, they're a little closer together, okay? So that's one thing, um, especially if you're looking at it like this, okay? Versus like, again, if you're looking at it a little more from the top, see now, a little further apart. Okay, so that's part of it is that like here, you know, from here to here, you want to look at it as like the distance from the two corners, from that corner to this corner. It's got to get closer together. So it might actually be where the, you know, the back corners over there. Okay. So it's sort of pushing these two together more. Uh, and the other thing that happens too is that this angle may not be as extreme. It may not, you know, may not go off in such a, you know, like horizontal direction. It might be a little more vertical. So usually that's what it is, is just the angles are a little bit different than you think. So if I change the angle, go a little more like this. Okay, so now I'm there. Okay. And then again, you know, I'm just kind of replicating my angle here. And so I've sort of got these in already again you know they're there and so again if i just kind of replicate a version of what i see there then you know i'm there and then this just has to go straight up and down like those other two did and then there we go okay and so if you're looking at it a little closer to eye level Okay, because again, you're not like, you know, imagine where your eyeballs are. You're not way up here looking down at it. You're a little bit more like right, you know, right in there somewhere. Okay. And so you're going to see a little bit of the top, but not a lot. If you were standing up and looking down at it, you know, this would look a lot bigger because you're seeing more of the top. It's just the point of view you have. Okay. And so again, generally what will happen then is that, um, you know, again, depending on how the box is turned, I notice a lot of times that this is just a little skinnier too, and then this is a little shorter, okay? And so if you're looking at a box, I'm just gonna draw another random one, and I'll kind of keep it sort of the same direction. Then if you're looking at a box and you're really, you know, like really close to eye level with it, Like something like that. And again, depending on how, what angle the box is turned, you know, this way. Might look something like this. Okay. 
Okay. So see, like, and th from this angle, you're almost, your eyeballs are almost even with that top, and that's why you barely see just a little bit of the top of it. Okay, and so kind of what I'm getting at is like, you know, there's the point of views where you're looking, you know, sort of like you're looking down at it, and then this one, you're kind of looking at it a little more straight on. And that's what will happen, the top will be a little bit shorter. Okay. Um, people always struggle with getting the angles. So if you're looking at a box, like let's just say this is the one that's sitting on the table and I'm trying to draw this. And darken this back in. Okay, so then I'm trying to draw it, you know, in a different spot. Okay, so I can do like I'm doing there. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Okay, but then when I, you know, these angles sometimes are the harder ones to guess at. Okay, so, you know, it's, um, I have to look at it and go, okay, if this is flat, you know, is it more vertical? Is it more horizontal? So, you know, from here, it's sort of in between. You can think of it as like, this is horizontal, that's vertical. So it's sort of in the middle. Okay, so that can help, kind of help you guesstimate. Okay. The other thing you do is think of it a bit like a clock. Okay, so if that's the, the little corner is the very center where the hands point at, like then this hand is obviously pointing at 12. This one's pointing, you know, just before three o'clock. And you can think of this one as, you know, if this is nine o'clock and at 12, then it's kind of pointing, you know, yeah, let's just say somewhere between 10 and 11. Okay, probably more like 10 o'clock. Okay, so you can think of it like a clock and then just think of where the hands are pointing. Okay. So that can help you with the angles. And so generally, once you get one of the angles, um, the rest of it's not so bad. Okay, because like once I figured that one out, then I know these two are just really similar. Okay. And in terms of figuring out like how you know why this should be compared to that, we'll cover that next time. We'll cover that. We'll we'll talk about using siding and even plumb lines. That's another technique we'll use. Um, that can help you with proportions, you know, getting the size right. So really with these, I just want you to think about, um, you know, getting it to look like a box. And so, like I mentioned before, if you, uh, you know, so let me try to draw this same box. And then I do this and then all of a sudden I have this angle going like that. And then this one like this. And then I try to connect them. They just, it doesn't look quite right. So it's all about getting similar angles. So see, there's one, there's two, and there's three. And then this one, see, that's one, that's two, those go straight up and down. So then this one should really be like that. Okay, and so again, I've got this one figured out. So then that one should be the same. There we go, okay. Pretty close.